Hey guys, how you doing? Gary G, Stay Slick Auto Detail, back again for another video. And in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is the DIY shop vac carpet extractor that I was talking about in my last video. Here is your standard rigid vacuum. It's the uh, five horsepower, four gallon. It's the same one that all the detailers have. Um, you're gonna need a shop vac. This is the one I would recommend. The other thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a water filter, meaning this is a filter that's made to go in these shop vacs, and it's like a, a foam filter, and it's made for wet applications. If you use the paper filter that it comes with, it's just gonna get soaking wet with water. It's gonna suck it up into the motor and it's gonna be, it's gonna destroy your vacuum. So you need one of these. You need a shop vac, any standard shop vac will work. You're gonna need the hose that it comes with right here. And then on here, I have the Mighty Wand. Okay, this is the one that comes with the Mighty Extractors. I just bought this separately. You can use any of the ones that come on Amazon. Some of them as cheap as 50 to 60 bucks. This one here was about, uh, I think it was 120 at a uh, local industrial cleaning supply store. But I'm gonna put everything that you need down in the description. So if you want, there's gonna be links to Amazon, to Home Depot, to various places you can go there to get everything that you need. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so why would you do a DIY extractor when you could just buy another extractor? Well, I already have the Bissell Pro, uh, Spot Clean Pro, I believe it's called. It's about 150 bucks. And it works good, but the suction power is not very strong. And the wand itself, it's only about maybe inch and a half. This is much wider, much more powerful um, of a suction. Uh, also because the vacuum um, is that five peak horsepower. And the Bissell, I think, is maybe a little over one. So you get a tremendous amount more suction power with this. Okay, so from the wand, it has the uh, water tube that connects into the male and female quick connect that would normally come on any Mighty or Aqua Pro Vac, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Any of the bigger extractors are all gonna have this quick connect. So you can buy this online or at industrial cleaning supply store. It moves down into another piece here. I'm gonna look at my notes so I get this correct. It's a quarter inch to quarter inch uh, it's a male to male here and from here it goes into a half inch uh, by a quarter reducer right so it's going from a half inch to a quarter and then from there is a quarter to a quarter and then from there is the final connection which is a three quarter inch uh, to a half inch from there you can connect any female to female uh, hose uh, connection. That's what this is right here. Uh, another option that I've seen done is you can take a hot or cold line from a dryer, like in your house, they're actually uh, female to female already, and you can get one, attach it here, run it down the hose, and then that's where you would connect your garden hose. Uh, so for me, for my trailer, I can take it from the pump into a hose into this, and then this is going to plug into the front of my vacuum, just like normal here. So application of the water filter is very simple. Just take off the two sides here um, or however yours works. This is the normal filter that comes with it. You're going to go ahead and pull that off and you're going to take this. Now I made a mistake when I bought this. This is uh, made for the 16 gallon I believe which is why it's such a long depth. So this just slides over. Uh, mine gets pushed down like this because I have the smaller vacuum doesn't stop it from working, it still works fine. So you see here, here's the regular depth of the filter. Just make sure to line it up. And then you're gonna go ahead and plug it into the wall. From there, you take a hose. I got a hose here. And you can check for leaks. You can see we don't have any leaks here. It's all under pressure now. You'll see here, watch. There we go. Under pressure, no leaks. 
So you turn this on. Best case scenario would be to have a custom size hose that is just as long as this uh, hose here. And you can have Velcro straps all the way down. And then from right about here, you can actually have your connection points. So you just roll this up and you bring a hose and connect it and everything is already there. What I'm gonna do now is I am going to show you guys what it looks like in use. I'm gonna try to get, uh, I don't really have any stains on the seat of my truck, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like uh, to extract out of a seat with this thing, which you're working with. One quick note, anybody that knows about carbon extractors, I'm sure they're gonna comment below. Yeah, but what about the heating element, right? Yeah, there's no heated water. You're not gonna get that with this. You're gonna get regular old cold water. But I've been using the Bissell Pro for over a year, never had a problem getting any stains out. I can understand um, the use of heated water to break down the stains, but you gotta understand here, we're talking about sub $200 uh, for this setup, as opposed to $1,200 to $2,000 for a Mighty. That's why we're doing this DIY setup, is for people that are budget conscious, that want something more powerful than a Bissell with something that they probably already have in their garage as it is. Okay, so come with me, let's go check it out. So there you have it. You can see that it is fully functioning. It works just fine, better than the Bissell Pro. It might be a couple dollars more expensive depending on if you have this shop back or not. I am assuming that most people, at least people that are into DIY uh, car cleaning or people who are detailers starting out, uh, at least have some sort of shop back. So if you do, the total price point is what I'm saying. If you don't, you're gonna have to add the price of this shop back on top. Looking at the cart, at my cart here on Home Depot, for the water filter inside, 19.97, so 20 bucks. Uh, for the quarter inch to half connection, about $7. Quarter to quarter, 315. Um, the half to a quarter, about eight bucks. And if you need to buy the shop back, this is 99 bucks on homedepot.com right now. With all of that together is 136.44. Plus, you put on the uh, $120 that I got the Mighty Wand for, and now you're looking at uh, $250. $250 is still half the price of a uh, $400 Aqua Pro Vac, and um, it's about a quarter of the price for a full on Mighty. Now, if you already have the Shop Vac um, for this setup, it would be $36.44 plus $122. So roughly $150. So you can take this tool that you already have with a professional wand and get pretty good results for 150 bucks. I don't care who you are, that's amazing. And I know there's gonna be people out there that are purists, that want you to buy the most expensive stuff. But one thing I can tell you I've learned about detailing is it doesn't necessarily always matter. The tools that you have, it's your technique, it's how you use it the products that you have it's 
the time that you spend, it's how much you're willing to do, how far you're willing to go. Okay, that's what separates you as a detailer. And you need to remember that. So don't worry about what people say on YouTube, including myself. You do what works good for you. For me, I have a Vista Pro Extractor and it works fine. I have this, it works even better. It's convenient for me, I'm very happy with it. At some point, sure, I'm going to pick up a Mighty or something along the lines of that, but you don't have to have that. You can do everything with the Bissell Pro. <clears throat> Take, for example, the Detail Geek. If you know anything about detailing, you've probably seen his videos. He does all kinds of disaster details. He does all of that with a Bissell Pro. It's $150. That works, doesn't even work as good as this. So that can tell you with the right amount of time, skill, and attention to detail what you can get out of something like this especially when you already have this it's even more convenient it's less to carry i think it's a win-win so anyways guys i want to thank you for watching this video i hope it was entertaining for you uh, if you have any questions or anything shoot them in the comments down below if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe because i'm going to do a lot more stuff like this a lot more actual detailing content a lot more tips and tricks all the things that you guys want to learn about a real day in the life of a detailer, what we actually do, not just YouTube detailing, actually in the world of real detailing. Make sure you subscribe below. If you guys have any suggestions for videos, things that you want to know about what I do, leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to, to make a video for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. My name is Gary G. Stay Stuck Auto Detail in Fresno, California. If you're in the Fresno area and you want to book with us, all the info is down below. If you just want to watch the videos, make sure you subscribe below, hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys on the next video. I really appreciate you sticking around. You guys have a good one. Stay slick. Peace.